And now here we are at 613 and we want to turn to today's Earth 8 report. So there is this male weedy sea dragon in La Jolla carrying about 70 eggs right now. Hearing that a male is carrying eggs may seem rare, but it is normal for these for sea dragons. What's not normal is the successful transfer of these eggs happening at an aquarium. Yes, at Birch Aquarium. So we thought it'd be appropriate for one pregnant species to visit another to find out how this was even possible. That okay. would be the area where they would carry the eggs is where it's bright yellow. If you look closely, you can see the babies and their eggs, their eyes, their tiny bodies. But what's not tiny is how these eggs look on the tail of this male. Yes, that's a male weedy sea dragon carrying quite the load. About 70 eggs, each one positioned in what looks like little cups that have formed on his spongy tail so he can carry the next generation. The first time we've had numerous eggs transferred from the female to the male. Let's take you back to how all of this um, excitement at Birch Aquarium began. Of the 16 weedy sea dragons in this exhibit, there was a female who took a liking to a certain male. They were swimming together side by side and they mirror each other and they swim around and they shimmy and then they move away and they come back again and do it again and they've been doing it, you know, like almost every day for a while until finally they decided this is the time and he's the right guy. That's when the female released her eggs and he accepted. He fertilized the eggs and took on the responsibility of carrying them all. She picked a really nice male who was nice big long tail and, uh, and he did good. The transfer started in early January. Soon after, the sea dragon started hiding in the back of the exhibit. He also was listing every so often to one side like he was feeling like it was a little bit extra weight and just kind of like not as active, just kind of hanging out there, swimming a little bit. Back Trust me, I know the feeling. <laughs> Sensing he wanted to be alone, Leslie Matsushiji and the team at Birch Aquarium carefully transferred him to a separate home. So the female sea dragon now has nothing to do with the process. It's okay that they're separate? Yes. Yeah, once the female releases her eggs and he takes the eggs, she's done. She doesn't have to do any other work. It's all up to the yeah, male now. Okay. <laughs> now, if you think the weedy sea dragons carrying eggs on their tail is fascinating, well, get this. For seahorses, it's the male seahorse that has a pouch. The female puts the eggs in the pouch, and the male is the one carrying during the entire time, which I can certainly have a lot of respect for. You can certainly call Leslie the expert of these types of fish. Seahorses and sea dragons are, in fact, fish. They have all the same body parts. They're just kind of oriented a little differently. Leslie's been at Birch for three decades. When they first opened, they only had one sea dragon in 1998. It wasn't until she went diving with the sea dragons when she learned how they truly live. Traveled to Australia and got to see them in their natural habitat and learned a lot. So she helped to create one of the largest sea dragon exhibits in the world that opened in 2019 here at nine feet deep and 18 feet wide. Like those two over there, they're definitely interested in each other. They have space to swim, eat, grow and court each other. They live in seagrass and kelp beds and, as you can tell, camouflage really well. But the pregnant male is taking center stage, even while he's cared for behind the scenes. We want people to learn more about what the ocean holds and these have incredible animals. You know, the oh, idea of men being the ones who are the pregnant ones. Here we are. Oh, really wow. fascinating. Right? Our backs hurt. My back already, <laughs> I've had this on for one minute. <laughs> Literally, my lower back is in pain right How now. How do you do this? I tried to find you bigger watermelons, but these were all they this had. This was good. But there are, and by the way, there are real watermelons These are, here. yes. Um, and these are like five or six pounds, and yeah. that's nothing compared to real baby. What the actual, yes, like for me right now, I have a, the, a cabbage in here. Yeah. Yes. That's the latest size at 27 weeks. You guys have little baby watermelons. Little baby watermelons. Uh, but, but you know, the idea of men carrying mm -hmm. babies, I, I like this idea. Yeah. Can I just say I'm glad it's one, not 70? Yes. Right. Like the poor that sea dragon. Sea dragon. It feels good to just kind of, you know, their backs back. are hurting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah these nice. poor guys. That's <laughs> nice. Do you ever want to just hold it up like while you're walking? Oh, totally. Like, I yeah. like often walk like this. Yeah. See? Yeah. See? Now I... we have ligaments here that right. really do hurt when you're getting bigger and bigger. You get sore. And yeah. then the lower back. Eric and I are going to be sore tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I, was, I remember my, when my wife went through this three times like, that she would saying? always lean back. She would always <laughs> lean back this way because you have to like balance yourself yeah. out, right? Oh, for sure. And it does help to squat, do different positions. I mean, I go wow. to. 
Wow. Physical therapy, chiropractor, massage, all for because I have to carry this. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot happens, obviously, in a body. We so appreciate it's nice that everything you are that you guys this. do. Yes, yes. absolutely. <laughs> Bringing life into this world and all of the physical changes your bodies go yes. through and everything. And, and um, really, honestly, what your back goes through. I was going to say, seems like you irreparable know, damage. Yeah. Massages are necessary. <laughs> Let's just say like. that. But thank you guys for trying. We yeah. can barely do it for absolutely. 10 minutes, let alone <laughs> nine months. Jeez. And now no drinking allowed either. No. Oh, that would be the worst uh, part. <laughs> only one cup of coffee a day. Mm. So many rules. No so deli many meat. Restrictions. I happen to love deli Raw meat. And when I heard sushi. that you couldn't do that, yeah. I was like, yeah, sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we are keeping an eye on the way, by yes. the way, on the male sea dragon. Yes. As soon as those eggs start hatching, we will keep you posted because we're watching do. super closely. Yeah. And 